that's something also that I've seen in the jungle that there's creatures using each other and it's like a dance of either uh, mutually using each other or it's, or it's parasitic or symbiotic. It's interesting. Like there's a, a, a medicinal plant you grabbed that was full of ants <laughs> yeah. that were like trying to uh, murder you by biting. <laughs> but they were defending the plant that yeah. they were using for whatever purpose. But there's a clear dance there of the ants using the plant and the plant existing there for other applications and other use for humans. And there's that kind of circle of life happening. But the ants were a defense mechanism. So the, the plant didn't have its own defense mechanism. The ants, the army of ants was there to protect the plant. Mm -hmm. And... Oh. Did you actually, when you, remember we put our backpacks down at that one spot and it was like the ants got on your backpack mm -hmm. and I said, oh shit, this is that tree. Did you actually get bitten by one of those? Because they're incredibly painful. The yeah. The Tangarana yeah, one. They like. Yeah. yeah surprisingly painful. Because they're small. They're, I mean, it's yeah. nothing like, I'm um, luckily have not been bitten by a bullet ant yeah. yet. But it's just, it's amazing because they live inside the tree. The tree yeah. comes standard with holes in it that allow the ants to, to move and to exist safe and it protects their eggs and they protect the tree. And they, so we saw that spot where there was a perfect circle around the trees because the ants had excavated the other vegetation so that those trees could have no competition to grow. Mm -hmm. The incredible calculation of how ants know to guard, come programmed to garden that tree and the tree somehow has been genetically informed to have ant habitat within itself. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's mind blowing. And it actually is the foundation of a lot of existential confusion for me because how the hell is this possible? Yeah. Well, one of the things you mentioned that's also a source of a lot of existential confusion for me is ants yeah. and the intelligence of different creatures in the forest. There's these giant colonies, there's just giant systems, but even just looking at a single colony of ants, them collaborating leaf cutter ants, is an incredible system. So individually, the ants seem kind of dumb and simplistic, mm. but taken together, there is a vast intelligence operating that's able to be robust and resilient in any kind of conditions, is able to figure out a new environment, is able to resi be resilient to any kinds of attacks and all that kind of stuff. What do you find beautiful about them? Like, as you said, just leaf cutter ants in this jungle, yeah. that's forgetting all the other hundreds of species of ants that are in this jungle, but just the leaf cutters apparently digest roughly 17% of the total biomass of the forest. Everything, all these giant trees, all that leaf litter, 17% of that, almost a fifth of this forest cycles through leaf cutter ant colonies. So they're constantly regenerating the forest. They're a huge source of the, of the driver of this ecosystem. And so to me, when you see them working, it's... Again, like I said, you see your friends as you go through the jungle. You see all the kapok tree, you see kinea tree. You see, oh, there's leaf cutter ants doing what they're supposed to do. And it's, it's just so beautiful. I find them very beautiful. Army ants, they're so tough. They're mm -hmm. so ready to fight. They have these huge mandibles. They're just ready to, they're just, they're transporting their eggs. They're moving from here to there. Anything that's in the way is getting eaten. They're just savage. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of cute for that. Unless you're tied to a tree. The savagery is cute. I find yeah, that, yeah, it's kind of reassuring. You know, you want certain things to be tough. That's their part. Oh, that everybody plays a part in the entirety of the, and the nature great, mechanism. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, the powerful play. Um, but, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. the army ants are so savage. You know, like if you if you step on army ants, they will all kamikaze yeah. and just attack onto your feet, and they'll just they'll just sacrifice their own life for the good of the thing, mm -hmm. and they'll be trying to kill your your shoes and. There's something funny about that to me. There's something like kind of reassuring. Again, unless, unless, imagine if you're going through the jungle and you slip and you fall and you twist your knee yeah. and you fall in just the right way, but you, you can't get up. Yeah. You can't. You're stuck there. Yep. And then army ants find you. Yep. They will take you apart. There are records of horses that have been tied up and army ants come and they'll take out the whole horse. 